Hi everyone, it's Mrs Mystery. Welcome to this next series of videos which are looking at BAME artists. Um, and the first artist that we're going to look at is Kara Walker, a black American artist who uses paper silhouettes um, in her work. And we're going to take those ideas of using a paper silhouette and create our own kind of shadow puppet theatre using just very simple materials like a cardboard box and some black paper. Um, so please do remember to tag me in the makes that you create with the hashtag Mrs Mystery Makes. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. So let's get started. Kara Walker is a New York based artist who has gained huge recognition globally for her paper cut out silhouettes that depict a wide range of stories and narratives exploring the themes of race, gender, sexuality and violence. This piece, Gone, a historical romance of a civil war as it occurred between the dusky thighs of one young negress and her heart is Walker's interpretation of the book Gone with the Wind. In her own words, she describes her experience of reading the book as being thrilled with how engrossing the story was and how grotesque it was at the same time. There's an interesting interview with Walker based on this piece of work and its connotations with race and slavery. Um, and I've linked this interview in the description if you want to have um, a more in-depth understanding of this particular piece of work. But when we're looking at Kara Walker's work, we're looking at her idea of telling stories and the scale of her work. So the scale of her pieces are huge. Massive installations that take up whole rooms, similar to the huge 360 degree cycloramas that were very popular in describing and depicting battle scenes um, in the Civil War. Um, and the paper cutouts are historically a Victorian kind of ladies pastime um, so I, I think that's quite interesting that she's using this particular technique on this massive scale to depict themes that are very close to her heart so your task is to create a story now this could be um, from a story that you've read and you've loved or a story that you've read and you've hated it could be something that's happening in your life right now it could be something that's happening in the world right now or you could be just really imaginative and come up with your own story based on whatever images you end up finding. So we're going to create some puppets on sticks that we can then use behind a sheet of white paper or fabric um, to create shadows with um, to tell your story. So let's get started. So here's what you're going to need. Um, you'll need some tracing paper. If you don't have tracing paper, greaseproof paper will work. Some black paper or card. Some pictures of people, maybe from a magazine or something. And any other pictures that you might want to use, so like landscapes, like trees, um, animals, whatever you want to, um, to use to create your story. Uh, some cereal box card, a pair of scissors, a pencil, a cardboard box and a sheet of white paper. So go through some magazines, maybe some photographs, um, whatever you can kind of get your hands on. You can print some pictures off the internet um, for your characters. Um, I'm using people that have got a nice profile maybe, um, people wearing an interesting costume like this guy's top hat. Is quite good um, maybe people in movement so this footballer kicking a football and um, would look quite good as a silhouette um, so what you you need is just a range of characters that have got um, a characteristic that you can see as a silhouette um, and remember we're not using much detail here we're just going to go with the outline so place your tracing paper over the image that you want to, to use for your character and with quite firm pressure, draw around the outline. So what you end up with is a picture of the Queen, but just the outline of the Queen. 
um, and we can tell that it's a queen, we can tell that she's got a crown on. So choose characters that have some kind of defining feature so when they're cut out of the black paper, you can um, identify them. So I'm just going to do a couple more. So once you've got your tracings, um, you then need to take your piece of paper, your black paper, and you are going to turn your tracings the opposite way around and you are going to then just transfer the drawing onto the black paper. Now this is why you needed to press down quite hard so you can transfer the graphite from the pencil onto the black paper. Um, you might not be able to see it very well on the video um, but you can see that it's transferred onto the black paper you can see there's a shiny slight shiny outline um, that I'm going to cut around now So we're not going to stick them down on the white paper. The white paper is just there for you to, to see the outline. So cut out the queen here and I think she um, is quite an interesting character. Um, I've also done um, an animal, so I've got a tiger. I've got some landscape -y type Im images, so a bit of a kind of mountain area, a tree and some grass. Um, and I've got this man as well. Um, and so you just need as many characters as you want to start making your story. Okay, so once you've got your um, shapes already cut out, you need to think about how you're going to make them stand up. Now it might be that you create something like this, so just some little cardboard tabs that will then help um, the background kind of stand up, uh, like that. Um, or it might be that you decide to use something a bit longer, like a piece of cardboard. Um, so you've got a handle to then move your um, character around with. Um, so it's entirely up to you. But what you need is just some some card. So I'm using cereal box card. Um, and I'm just going to do these this grass here. And I'm just going to cut and bend two small pieces of cardboard. And I'm then going to just glue the little tab on the back. So then it will stand up when it's dry. So you just need to decide how you're going to make these stand up and how you're going to get them to move. Um, I'm now going to show you what it looks like um, as a scene. Um, so just bear with me. So what you want to do with your cardboard box is fold in all of the edges and on the other side as well. So you end up with a frame that looks like that. And then what you need to do is take a piece of paper that's the right size to cover the front part of the box um, and just glue that in place.
So then you have a box with a white piece of paper on the front and a space for you to then put your um, shadow puppet is behind it. So what you're going to do is you'll set up your box so it's on the edge of your table. You'd put your camera with your torch here and then you can use these to put inside of your box. Um, so if I just turn this round, you can put your scenes inside and then you've got your kind of puppets that would move around like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till it's dark um, and then I'll, I'll run through what it looks like with a torch and in a dark environment. So guys, once you've got your set up, you need to start playing around with the scale and um, see what happens when you move your shapes backwards and forwards within the box or outside of the box and um, what happens when you move your torch as well and then how your characters would interact. So what would happen if you had too many things in one scene? Do, does this man look too big? Can, how do I make him look smaller? How can I play around with not having my hand in? the scene and um, you know think about your dialogue think about the storyline and um, it's entirely up to you how you work with this but um, you know you might need a bigger box and I feel like you need a big box with mine here um, or you might want a smaller box and um, if you want to do a big scale production um, then you could do it underneath your dining table with a bed sheet over and um, so you know really kind of go to town on this and, and play around with the idea. Well done guys, I hope you've managed to create yourself um, an interesting story and some characters uh, using magazines and any other images that you have. I hope you've managed to create a, a structure of some sort, or it, it, you could use a cardboard box, you could use the underneath of your dining table, uh, using you know, a pillowcase or something like that to create your um, white curtain with. Um, so, you know, have a go, experiment with different handles, experiment with different... Um, props and structures so you know you could have buildings and skyscrapers and you know totally make this your own and make it into your own story uh, remember to send me pictures of your work use the hashtag mrs mystery makes um send me them on instagram or facebook um and i'll see you for the next video